we have to remain vigilant against that possibility. In testimony before the Senate Armed Services Committee on Tuesday, senior Pentagon official Colin Call told Congress that Islamic State in Afghanistan could have the capability to attack the United States in as little as six months and has the intention to do so. I think the intelligence community currently assesses that both ISIS-K and al-Qaeda have the intent to conduct external operations, mm -hmm. including against the United States, uh, but neither currently has the capability to do so. We could see ISIS-K generate that capability in somewhere between six or 12 months. Uh, I think the current assessments by the intelligence community is that al-Qaeda uh, would take a year or two to reconstitute that capability. The remarks from Call, the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, are the latest reminder that Afghanistan could still pose serious national security risks for the U.S. even after pulling all troops out of the country in August, ending its two-decade-old war in defeat. The Taliban, which won the war, are enemies of Islamic State in Afghanistan, also known as ISIS-K, and have seen its attempts to impose law and order after the U.S. pullout thwarted by suicide bombings and other attacks claimed by the terrorist group. Call said it was still unclear whether the Taliban has the ability to fight Islamic State effectively following the U.S. withdrawal, estimating that ISIS-K had a cadre of a few thousand fighters. Call also suggested al-Qaeda in Afghanistan posed a more complex problem given its ties to the Taliban, the same ties that led to the U.S. military intervention there in 2001 following the September 11th attacks that were carried out by al-Qaeda. President Joe Biden, whose supervision of the chaotic end to the war has damaged his approval ratings, has said the United States will continue to be vigilant against threats coming from Afghanistan by carrying out intelligence gathering operations in the country. Call said the goal was to disrupt Islamic State and al-Qaeda so they don't become capable of striking the United States.